Today, I'm gonna talk about the Dogtra 1900S. This e-collar is for dogs that are 35 pounds and up, or if you have a stubborn dog. Getting into the e-collar, we have a big old box here. We don't need that. Opening up the e-collar, we get this. In the 1900S box, you get three components. You get the e-collar, your remote, and your charger. With the 1900S, you get the e-collar remote alongside the collar, the actual e-collar itself, and the charger. Now the question is, what are all these buttons on it? To turn it on, we have a blue button here. We hold it down for three seconds, turns on. To turn it off, we hold down the button for three seconds again, turns off. Go ahead and turn it back on. Second button here, this is the vibrate button. There is no stimulation from this whatsoever. This is purely a vibration like a phone. Running into the next button, we have the two buttons on the side. We have the nick button and the constant button. As said, when you tap this, it is a nick and the tap is one eighth of a second. So it is very quick. The button under it is the constant. Constant means it continues. When you hold it down, it will continue to go until you let go. Now the fancy button on the top is the level. This collar goes all the way up to 127. I highly doubt your dog will ever need 127, but there are cases where dogs need to go to that level. This e-collar can go up to three fourths of a mile. That's pretty darn far. But if you have objects in the way and obstructions, that will shorten. This is also waterproof. So no, your dog cannot get electrocuted by wearing this e-collar. This remote is only capable of having one dog on the remote. If you are looking for two dogs, look into getting the 1902S. Let's now talk about how we turn on the actual e-collar itself. This big old blue button right here on the remote, we're gonna hold it down for three seconds. A green light is going to come on. That is the indicator of how you know that this collar is on. Another way of telling if this collar is on, the button on the very front that we've originally talked about, we're gonna tap that and it is going to vibrate itself. And lastly, how we plug this in to charge it, there is a latch on the bottom right here. We are going to latch that open, take one of the plugs, lock it in. Same thing on this remote, there's a little latch right here. We are going to take it, we are going to plug it in. This should be coming off the dog every night. That way you have battery to be able to train your dog. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Rena with Dog Training Elite Arizona. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.